Alright, so this is my 2014 Chevy Cruze. Um, the issue, I've wiped off most of the oil off of the front, but as you can see there's still some some oil seeping out through the front. Um, that's a pretty common place for the valve cover gasket to leak. So what I'm going to do is I've got the new valve cover gasket. Um, here, item number 50807 from Felpro, um, and that was only 20 bucks when I bought it. And so what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery, and then I'm going to take off this top cover here, which I can just show you that now. That just pops off like that. It has two clips on the back. So you take that off, see the two clips there. And then I'm going to take off that screw and that screw, and then all of the bolts around the edges. All right. And to do that, I'm going to have to unclip this wire harness uh, just so we can pull off this valve cover. Okay, so um, do that and get started. All right, so these two bolts here are going to be for your coil pack, so I'm just going to take those out real quick. So to get the plug off the coil pack here, you just pull back this pink tab. should slide right off for you. Alright, so now that we have the coil pack unplugged, we can pull it right out of the top. Alright, so I pulled the coil pack out, so it just pulls straight out. Just have to use a little bit of force. Uh, so now we can start on all these bolts. So these you just unclip from the back and they come off no problem at all. So that's all the bolts. Alright, so I'll show you how many bolts you have total. So starting from the right side front, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then on the inside you have four, so that makes fifteen. Alright, so I've got all fifteen bolts loosened now, so I'm just gonna pop the valve cover. Alright, so uh, you kind of got to push the cords and pull the wiring harnesses out of the way in order to get this out. And let them out. So you can see the cams in there and spark plugs. If you need to change your spark plugs or your cams, it's a great time to do it. Uh, what you can also see, a lot of gunk build up right here. So it looks like the oil's been um, coming through the gasket right over here, and that's where it's been leaking. Right, so we'll take the old one off. And actually, you can see right here, hopefully, let's see if it'll focus. You can see those little splits right there in the gasket. So that's where the oil has been leaking through, right there in the front.
Alright, so now I'm just spraying off the valve cover with some brake cleaner. Uh, it's really just a cleaner. It just gets grease and grime off. Alright, so now I'm putting the new gasket in. So it's really simple. You just lay it on top and then press it in. So I'm just pressing it into the grooves. Alright, so we got the new gasket on and we're going to stick it back on now. Alright, so I've got it back on. All I did that you didn't see was just put it back on by pulling back the wire harnesses on this side and on this side and this side. Um, I just didn't show it because I couldn't really get a good camera shot of it while I was putting it in. So, uh, but that's it. You just put the gasket on and put it back on to make sure all the screws will go down, make sure check all the edges to make sure the gasket is seated right and isn't pinched or rolled up somehow and you should be good to go so I'm gonna tighten down all of these and then I'm gonna uh, put the coil pack back on put all these connections back on and start it up alright so I turned it on now you want to check and see if there's any leaks So I just have to keep driving it and see if there's any leaking oil. And, uh, but right now, this should fix our issue. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe.